We're going to make a, an Easter centerpiece today and we are going to be using anemones, paper whites, mascari, uh, delphiniums, fritillaries and some ranunculus and the foliages we've got are variegated pittosporum and pistachio and then just plain pittosporum for my garden and moss. Okay, so we're going to start by cutting kind of little bits. We want to cover the whole base and always cut on a diagonal because it is easier to poke into the oasis and you don't want any leaf to go into, you want to have a nice clear stem to go in here. Now I'm going to start adding the flowers. Some are much easier than others to add. These ranunculus are quite easy because they're quite solid stemmed, but these anemones are really hollow. So if you're going to do these, be really careful when you put them in. Just feed them in slowly. I want to make it quite kind of a bit typically springy, so I'm going for fritillaries. And snakes head fritillaries work really well with this. And use the shape of them. Can you see that beautiful curve? Use that. Don't make it kind of all one level and look a bit flat. We Basically, this is a, a, a garden, and so you think about how, how it would look if you were looking at a garden board or a pot or something. Nothing is the same height. Everything's kind of all over the shop. For the, the bigger ones, the kind of the leading ladies, don't keep to the kind of proportion, I mean, the rules of only having um, odd numbers, because otherwise it just looks a bit matchy-match. So these little grape hyacinths are great. They look like little fairies. Now I'm going to add um, a delphinium, which you probably think are quite big for this. But I just love it. They add the kind of real wow to it. It's really lovely to have Easter scent on your table from a paper white. Um, and these are just the best at this time of year. The Briti British grown ones from the Isles of Cilia are my favourite. So now I'm, I'm going to fill in with moss. A really good tip with moss is if you collect it and you don't use it all, it, it dries up. But if you pour warm water on it, it totally comes back to life. So just keep going round, filling in any spaces that you can. Okay, I think we're good. And it really looks like a growing garden, which I love. <laughs>